Hey folks, so today we're going to be taking a look at our 8.5 by 16 mobile marketing stage trailer. It's an all aluminum frame with a 12 foot stage door. So here on the tongue, you've got three members that are two inch by eight inch. You've also got 16 inch on center cross members all the way around the trailer. And since it's aluminum, we went all tubular with the framing structure. Now, as we move forward here, you'll see that we've got our motor base plug. And then here on the corners, we've got stainless steel with cast corners and a top radius as well in stainless steel. As we move around the side of the trailer, you'll notice that we've got our 32 inch side door with a piano hinge and an RV lock here. So as a mobile marketing trailer, presentation is everything, and that's where this trailer delivers. Up top, we've got a four inch upper and a seven inch lower riveted trim. We also chose to do this trailer in a victory red color, but we can do that in any of our standard colors as well. This is a 16 foot long trailer, but you see here we've done a 12 foot stage door. You've got the three stage legs, and then this is also winch operated from push up and down from the inside. Now as we continue here towards the middle, you'll see that we've done our perimeter skirting with individual fenderettes. And just below that, we've got our radial tires on aluminum wheels on 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles. <clears throat> Both axles are electric brake operated. Now as we move here towards the rear of the trailer, you'll see that we've also done a stage on the rear ramp door with two stage legs. And this is also dual spring assisted as you bring it down. So we've got all of our stage legs in place, except for this last one. You'll see that we've got three on our 12 foot door and then two here on our rear ramp door. So as I mentioned earlier, we've got a 12 foot stage door here that is winch assisted. You see we've got our two cables that run up to the cable system up in the cove box. And then that's run by a switch in the back off of a 12 volt deep cycle battery. You've got our three stage legs here and you hook up with your socket and lower it down to stabilize the stage. So as you can see, you're all set up and ready to go. To access the stage on both sides, we have nice aluminum expanded metal steps. They're removable and just store inside of the stage when you're going uh, down the road. On the floor of the stage and on the inside of the trailer itself, we've got a nice coin rubber. Now when we fold the stage down, there is a couple of gaps. We've got those gap covers here that protect you from falling down when you're on top of this stage. The aluminum viewing rails are the same rails we would use on an observation deck and a big race trailer, uh, but the use here, of course, is for the stage. One custom idea for you is to have a backing plate behind the wall. So that's what we've done here. We've got two backing plates behind the walls here and a nice 110 volt receptacle on both sides. You can mount the television screen right to that and plug it right in. We've got a nice aluminum countertop here that's just above an all aluminum base cabinet. There's a nice shelf inside of here as well cover the walls and the ceiling in vinyl. Now we can upgrade that to aluminum if you prefer, but these are vinyl interior walls and ceiling. We've also got nice 12 volt LED recess lights in the ceiling that give you plenty of light and they're completely run 12 volt off a of battery. So in the very front of the trailer, we've got a nice recess compartment that's used for a spare tire. So this actually closes up and it give you, gives you nice storage space. And again, this is just used for a spare tire, but you can use it for other items as well. In the front of the trailer, this is the actual power center that powers the rest of the unit. So we've got a nice 12 volt deep cycle battery that runs your lights as well as the winch assist uh, stage door. The uh, control for the stage is here, converter there and breaker box there. So when you plug into 110 volt power receptacle or to your truck, it's gonna run through the converter, charge the battery, so you continually have power inside this trailer. <laughs> 